medial epicondyle and between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris. Here's the ulnar nerve. It runs down the forearm between flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum superficialis, with profundus deep to it. Here it gives off a dorsal sensory branch, which goes to the back of the hand. At the wrist, it runs along the radial side of flexor carpi ulnaris. Along with the ulnar artery, it passes through the side tunnel in the edge of the flexor retinaculum. Here it is emerging from the tunnel. As before, the palmar aponeurosis has been removed. The ulnar nerve divides into a superficial branch and a deep branch. The superficial branch divides into palmar digital nerves for the little finger and typically the ulnar side of the ring finger. The deep branch passes between the hypothenar muscles. To follow it will remove the flexor tendons. The deep branch of the ulnar nerve runs across the palm in front of the interossei. It passes in between the two heads of adductor pollicis. We'll remove the transverse head to reach the most radial of the interossei. The ulnar nerve typically provides sensation to the ulnar half of the back and the front of the hand, and to the little finger and the ulnar half of the ring finger. Of the extrinsic hand muscles, the ulnar nerve supplies only the ulnar half of the flexor digitorum profundus. Of the intrinsic hand muscles, it supplies the hypothenar muscles, all the interossei, adductor pollicis, and the ulnar two lumbricals.